Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will demonstrate how to design a wind post, which is a vertical element that provides lateral support to cladding elements, typically made from masonry. A wind post does not provide any vertical support and is restrained at its head. This requires a horizontal structure at the top of the wind post that is strong enough to resist the forces being applied to it. As wind posts are designed to take only horizontal actions, it is important that the head of the wind post is fixed in such a way as to prevent axial forces being transmitted into it. To achieve this, the fixing detail between the wind post and the primary structural element is allowed to articulate vertically relative to the connection, typically through the slotted bolt holes. Wind posts are typically fixed to a wall via a series of wall ties that are placed at every other bed course within the masonry. The ties are post fixed to the wind post as the wall is constructed to allow for vertical tolerances. So, taking a worked example to design a wind post to ensure doesn't deflect any more than the deflection limit, which is typically taken as height over 360 for simply supported wind posts. So, we have cavity wall that is 3.2 meters in height is to be supported by channel section wind post placed at 2.5 meters centers. A wind action of 0.7 kN per square meter applied to the wall. 4.5 kN wall ties capacity in tension and compression are used to transmit wind load from masonry to wind post. Wall ties provided at a maximum of 450 mm centers. So first of all, we need to work out the load applied on the wind post, which is 0.7 kN per square meter, times 2.5 meters, times partial safety factor 1.4. This results in a value of 2.45 kN per meter. Now, we should be able to find applied bending moment, which is 2.45 kN per meter, times the wall height 3.2 meters squared, divided by 8. This gives us a value of 3.15 kN meter. So, if we try 95 by 60 by 5 channel section wind post with the following properties. The bending moment capacity would be design strength 180 newton per square millimeter times section modulus 28.929 cubic centimeter. We need to convert this to millimeter, so 28.929 times 1000. To get our result in kilonewton meter, we need to divide our value by 10 to the power of 6. This gives us a value of 5.21 kilonewton meter, which is greater than 3.15 kilonewton meter. Next, we need to do deflection check using a simply supported deflection formula. We have got all this information. W is 0.7 times 2.5 meters, which 1.75 kilonewtons per meter. L is the wall height 3.2 meters. E is Young's modulus 210 kilonewtons per square millimeter. So, we will be using kilonewton and millimeters. The deflection would be 5 times 1.75 divided by 1000 kilonewton per millimeter times 3200 millimeters to 4 divided by 384 divided by 210 kilonewtons per square millimeters divided by 1.37412 times 10 to 6 millimeters to 4 this gives us a value of 8.28 millimeters much like beams that support brick walls wind posts are subject to stringent movement criteria Masonry is sensitive to any form of excessive displacement, and is likely to crack if movement due to variable actions exceeds span over 360, or plus or minus 5 mm. Finally, wall ties check. Total load on wind post equals 0.7 kN per square meter, times partial safety factor 1.4, times height 3.2 meters, times length 2.5 meters. This results in a value of 7.84 kilonewtons. Therefore, 
The maximum spacing between ties equals height 3.2 meters times wall ties capacity in tension and compression 4.5 kilonewtons divided by total load on wind post 7.84 kilonewtons divided by partial safety factor for wall ties, which is 3. Convert the result value from meter to millimeter by multiplying by 1000. Hence, the maximum spacing between ties equals 612 millimeters. Consequently, wall ties, provided at a maximum of 450 millimeters centers, is sufficient. Thanks for watching. We hope you found some useful tips. Check out our website at structuralengineercalcs.com. Please like and subscribe, and let us know what would you like to see next. The human footprint is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Stay safe. Goodbye, and see you soon.